everybody welcome back part five <laughs> I know it's a long process this wine making but anyhow I'm here today um, to show you how to um, get your skeeter pea going again um, I'll show you so last night I took my rhubarb wine and I siphoned it off into the carboys um, I thought I was going to get one in a demijohn, but actually it worked really well. I ended up getting two, just about full. Um, they do have a bit of head space on here. Uh, that's fine because I have to add some sugar. I already added uh, potassium metabisulfite, and that's just to, uh, for moles, bacteria, germs. And uh, now I'm going to add, once I get it, <laughs> I have to go to the store. Uh, some potassium sorbate, two and a half teaspoons, and then I'm going to add uh, three or four cups of sugar. You can add as much or as little sugar as you want, um, depending on your, your taste buds and, and stuff. Uh, I find four is, is quite sweet, so this time I think I'm going to try three. However, uh, sweet wine drinkers like the four cups. Um, I got these uh, tablecloths over my carboys because once they're in a carboy, wine hates sunlight and oxygen. So keep your bong on here and I've got some potassium metabisulfite in here as well and, uh, and that's just to uh, keep the oxygen and stuff out of there. And I did the same thing with this one and once I add my sugar and stuff, that'll bring it right up. Had that not bring it up, um, people say you can add some distilled water or more wine. Um, I always add more wine because I don't like to uh, water down. No, I don't like to water down the wine. So um, these two are good. Once I add my sugar and my potassium sorbate, they're going to be good for a couple weeks and they'll be ready to bottle. I'm going to leave them a couple months though. Um, the skater pea is here, so I already started a little bit. Um, all of the old leaves from the bottom, I did save, I did save some of my fruit, but like all this stuff is just, um, I guess a byproduct of the yeast once it eats the sugars. And there's still some yeast in here, um, and, and the sugars will make it come alive once more. I did leave some fruit because um, some of my fruit still looks pretty viable. So I said, ah, why not leave it in there for a bit of color and whatnot. Um, I, I even have some uh, whole blueberries in here. Normally you would crush those beforehand, but I didn't. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, all right, just about there now. So we're gonna take that now and we're gonna give it a nice big stir wine in primary only loves oxygen and it needs oxygen to work so we would need to wake up all those little yeasts in there wake up yeast <laughs> oh my i'm so silly sometimes anyhow i'm going to cover that back up and that's going to um yeah give that a couple days it's going to get to 1.050 in about two days i would say um once that happens you're going to add your remaining bottle of lemon juice. And I think that yeast is, let me double check my notes. Um, yeah, I want to add, oh yeah. And you're gonna add the, another uh, three teaspoons of uh, nutrient and energizer. And that's it. And then after a couple of days of that, you're gonna rack it into the carboy and do the same thing as the rhubarb one, that's it done like dinner anyhow i hope you enjoyed the video i know it was long um but yeah i hope you guys can go pick some berries and make some wine for yourself if you don't have access to berries i've made a gorgeous tropical wine from the uh the big frozen bags of pc fruit at dominion um pineapple mango something or other quite delicious and you can run skeeter pee off of those as well um yeah anyway I hope you're having a beautiful day once again. Okay, goodbye.